So we'll call this meeting to order. It is 656. Uh, and we'll go through roll call again. Uh, Carrie, I don't believe she's able to participate tonight. Joe Coletti. Here. Mary. I don't think Mary is going to leave. Uh, Sue. Sue Stolfi, Marlboro. Thank you. Heather. Heather Summer, I'm here. Great, thank you. Uh, Cameron, I believe, is able to participate tonight. Uh, Mike. Mike Cheryl, here. Great. Did uh, Gabe join us online? Yep. Gabe Marks, Ingram. Thank you. Eric. Eric, Sheriff Chester, Campbell. Great, thank you. And Kirsten. Great, and I'm Mike Morris from Eva. All right, so we will, uh, if we could, just stand for the Pledge of Allegiance one more time. <clears throat> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll just sign to item three. If you bear with me for a moment. Uh, Hebron Andover and Marlboro Community Engagement and attended support of education public meetings is welcome. The public comment segment of the meeting agenda is set aside so the Board of Education may receive public comments. Procedurally, public remarks will be limited to three minutes and citizens will be asked to identify themselves. Because the Board of Education is limited by the Freedom of Information Act in discussing only matters on the agenda, the Board of Education is not permitted to engage in a discussion of comments presented. So at this time, if there's anyone that's physically present that would like to give public comment, entertain that at this point. Okay, seeing none, I would uh, turn to our digital uh, participants. Is there anyone online that would like to give public comment? Eric, I'm gonna rely on you. No digital hands? All right, so that being the case, we'll move on to item four, which is discussion of possible action regarding the 2023-2024 proposed capital improvement budget. So what I would like to do is uh, get the motion on the floor, if that's possible, and then if there's a discussion, then we can certainly raise it at that point. So uh, I would entertain a motion at this point that the board adopt the proposed 2023-2024 capital improvement budget in the amount of $540,990. Mike Schroen made, made the motion. Is there a second? Second. Uh, I got Heather up here first, so Heather seconded. Uh, we'll do a uh, voice vote. I'm uh, sorry, we'll uh, entertain discussion. Is there any discussion at this point? Anyone online uh, as far as the uh, board members? No? Anyone? The only thing I'll throw out there is that I really appreciate all the work that the uh, facilities group and in conjunction with the finance group has done. Uh, the joint meetings as well as the individual meetings to prioritize the things that go into the capital budget. It's, it's, that's, I've been on the, uh, the um, uh, capital improvement uh, end of things and uh, it's tough choices to be made amongst many things that need to get done and I do appreciate all of the effort that you guys do in prioritizing and making sure that we're putting money forward in the, the most feasible way uh, that we can. Uh, so with that being said, uh, at this point I will um, actually, actually do a roll call vote. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Carrie, not present. Joe, yes. Mary, Sue, yes. Thank you, Heather, yes. Pam, not present. Mike, yes. Thank you, Gabe, yes. Eric, yes. Kirsten? Yes. Thank you. And I also vote okay. yes. That uh, motion passes with uh, Mike. eight votes. Sorry? Mike. Oh, Mary, great. Mary, Sorry. do you want to vote? I, well, I didn't vote. I couldn't vote because I didn't hear what the motion was. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. The motion was to adopt the proposed uh, capital 2023-2024 capital improvement budget in the amount of $540,990. Yes, please. All right, great, thank you. So that vote, that uh, motion carried with nine votes. Uh, all right, great. Moves us on to item five, which is discussion and possible action regarding the 2023-2024 proposed operating budget. Again, I'd like to put the motion on the floor.
floor and then uh, conduct any discussion if necessary. At this time, I would entertain a motion that the board adopt the proposed 2023-2024 operating budget in the amount of $30,598,391. I'll Heather made the motion. Is there a second? Second, Sue. Sue, thank you, Sue. All right, is there any discussion about this budget? Anyone online? Questions or comments? Anyone present? Okay, so similarly, the one comment I'm going to make is that this budget went from four point four point four. What's that? Four point nine six to two point eight five, and it didn't get that way by accident. It got that way by a lot of hard work, both uh, um, on the uh, from the from groundswell up as far as our our uh, faculty and staff providing information and working together to put together, uh, I think, what is a very reasonable and feasible, workable number. Uh, and then uh, handing that off to our administrators, who I think did a phenomenal job of putting together um, and prioritizing the things that need to be prioritized in order to keep us moving in a very difficult financial year. And uh, I'd be extremely remiss if I didn't uh, mention uh, all of the work you and, and everything that you've done on this. It's uh, incredibly helpful. and. Uh, we rely on you, uh, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Uh, similarly, from the board's perspective, the uh, finance committee, uh, exceptional work um, in trying to move things forward. We couldn't have gotten done the things that brought it down from the 4% range to the 2.85% range without the finance committee putting all that time and energy and effort and making some really reasonable and uh, important decisions that, uh, that set the board up for success. So again, thank you very much for all that. That all being said, we'll do a voice vote. We'll go back around the horn. Uh, Carrie? Go back here. Joe? Yes. Okay. Mary? Yes. Thank you. Sue? Yes. Heather? Yes. Thank you. Pam? Mike? Yes. Gabe? Yes. Eric? Yes. Kristen? Yes. Okay. And I vote yes. That also passes with nine votes. All right. <clears throat> that brings us to item six, which is again the public comment. And I will just ask you to bear with me one more time. Hebrew Andover Marlboro Community Engagement and attendance at Board of Education public meetings is welcome. The public comment segment of the meeting agenda is set aside so the Board of Education may receive public comments. Procedurally, public remarks will be limited to three minutes and citizens will be asked to identify themselves. Because the Board of Education is limited by the Freedom of Information Act in discussing only matters on the agenda, the Board of Education is not permitted to engage in a discussion of the comments presented. So at this point, again, is there anyone physically present that would like to make a comment? I get a no. Okay, is there anybody online that would like to make public comment? Anything on your hair, anybody? <coughs> no digital hands being raised. At this point, uh, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I uh, got a motion from Mike. Is there a second? Heather made a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll have a voice vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, we stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody, very much.